Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. How are you? It's so good to have you back. I am so excited to have all of you guys here with me. Welcome to your love in general, Capricorn. I am so excited to have you. So let's go ahead and see what is happening for you August 1st through the 15th. I just literally, I'm so, you guys... Leo season, we are here, we are wrapped up, I love Capricorns, so I just want to go ahead and extend deep gratitude to all of you who have donated to the channel, all of you who have been here, super supportive of me and this journey, also if you guys would like to continue to support, I do have my cash app below, I have my indie deck wish list. I have my Amazon wish list and I have my uh, indie deck wish list. So, yes, thank you in advance for all of you who have already been such a wonderful part of my channel. Also, I do have a Reiki healing giveaway session going on very soon. So, let me go ahead and just clear the energy. Um, it's been a long day. I love you. I'm so, so happy to be here. Um, yes, my loves. So please join me on my small but growing community. I do have all that information down below to book a personal. So I have testimonials, reviews. I do pick a card readings. I have a bunch of cool stuff on there as well. We have a, a wonderful, supportive, supportive community. I want all of you to be there. Capricorn, what's going on? Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know my videos are uploaded. Yes, I love you. Oh my gosh. So I'm starting off with just a lot of adrenaline, a lot of, a lot of love. And I do feel that for you, Capricorn, the 1st through the 15th, there's going to be a rush. I am having a vision of a rush here, okay? So central theme, let's go ahead and see what's going on. Let's get the central theme for you. We do have, okay, the Five of Cups. Listen, my loves. Okay, Capricorn, um, I am feeling for a lot of you, there's going to be an enormous shift. I felt joy, okay? I felt a rush of joy, but I'm also getting, you know, with every joy, there comes a storm at some point. And I do feel that right now, August 1st through the 15th, some of you guys are turning your back on love or work or career or something. There is a very meaningful endeavor here for you, Capricorn, and you're turning your back on it, okay? Some of you are facing disappointment in regards to your life purpose, but this is because you still have that one cup left. Okay, there's going to be victory here, Capricorn. There's still something left. I want you to know there is still something very beautiful here for you. I'm also having a vision of rainwater here. The rain dance. It almost feels like a, you know, it feels like a purification process. Let your tears heal you. I think it's a Pavana quote that I love. Um, she's a fantastic poet. There's something about um, mourning through the sun. Check her out, you guys. I want you guys to check her out on Instagram. She's so, so beautiful. This is what you're doing. You're mourning to rise again. Whatever this is, it's incredibly, incredibly meaningful for you. Yeah. So, Capricorn, this is going to be universal law. My spirit guides are showing me the 
it's almost like this wheel is turning here, okay, clockwise, and it's moving counterclockwise. This is about your joy, the movement of your joy. Okay. This is about karma and clearing your karmic loop here. This is huge, you guys. We have the Empress. Look at this. This is what I saw in my vision. I love it. You're grieving to rise again. Okay. A lot of you guys are going to feel more empowered, more in your divine feminine energy. You're feeling fierce. You're feeling powerful. You're feeling, you know, incredibly abundant. And this is all going to come from your vulnerability. Something about your vulnerability, Capricorn, is making you look so beautiful. You're going to feel fulfilled. I do see a potential pregnancy with a divine feminine or you are looking... If some of you guys are waiting to hear from your divine feminine, if you guys are on a twin flame journey, for others, there's a divine masculine here. Capricorn, general energy here. Let's see. A lot of you guys, I am getting a lot of push pull. So be aware of power struggles. What is yours to carry and what isn't? What is yours to carry and what is it? We have the Ten of Pentacles here. Mm -hmm. Look how beautiful this is. We have establishment. A lot of you guys are going to be offered a permanent job on the 14th that is going to pay the bills and then some. Something you've worked so hard for, Capricorn. Listen, I do feel there's a strong rooted energy around investments and long term. A lot of you have been waiting for a bonus. You're waiting for an increase in pay. You're waiting for something big. It is happening for you very quickly. There's something about establishing your roots, my loves. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and see. We do have the King of Pentacles in reverse. So, listen, this is your card, Capricorn. A lot of you guys are off your throne. Listen, this is Leo season. We don't have time to be off the throne. You have to be in your power, Capricorn. Listen, you guys have so many beautiful energies. We have the Ten of Pentacles. We have growth. We have the Empress. And I am getting abundance. It's just, there's so much. There's so much fruition. Be aware of greed. Okay, my loves? Some of you maybe have not touched wealth in a while. And this is going to be a breakthrough for you. So be aware of any selfishness or um, any imbalances around the way you extend your power. Some of you guys like to keep your world to yourself. And you're like, I'm not sharing anything I don't want to I don't want to share my money my assets there's a, a desire for power but be aware of how you're exerting it be aware of how you're going about this this is going to be key okay some of you have a another uh, earth sign in your environment they are not playing fair We do have the Four of Swords in reverse. There's something coming out into light that you're waiting for involving something that was owed to you, Capricorn. You are going to feel incredibly, there's going to be an aha moment, an epiphany. You're saying yes. You're coming out of hiding as well. This offer is coming towards you in form of a contract. Okay, Capricorn, yes, the 12th and the 14th, yeah? What gifts are coming your way? We have the Ace of Cups in reverse, and we have the Page of Pentacles. Okay, the gifts for you, some of you guys are going to allow an offer to pass you by, and you're choosing a new direction. Some of you have a fulfilling offer. 
coming but it's almost like you're not ready or you're not willing to to sacrifice something for it so you're choosing another route you're choosing either school or you're going to work on a completely new endeavor here you want something more reliable you want something more grounded also please take note of family inheritance i do see some of you guys um, receiving a small inheritance from your family okay let's go ahead and talk about love capricorn and love yes i love you <laughs> Someone is in love. Yes. Don't leave me alone by Ashanti. Okay. Let's see. Capricorn in love. So we have the two of pentacles here. Okay, listen. Some of you guys are juggling options. There are two, two energies here. There's duality here. Okay, listen, some of you are dealing with someone who's back and forth hot and cold. I am getting a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. I'm also getting someone who embodies a very uh, dark priestess energy. So Leo, Sag, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. Okay, let's see. Capricorn. We do have the Two of Swords. In love, listen, Capricorn. You have to let your guard down. Some of you guys, there's something crossing your heart from the past. There's something around with this uh, purple hair very symbolic here of your past life incarnations in love where you sacrificed so much of yourself that you, you had nothing left okay so Capricorn in love free yourself from the shackles my loves free yourself let go of fear. A lot of you guys are holding your heart so close. My spirit guides are saying nothing coming in, nothing coming out. The Ten of Pentacles. Wow. You guys are looking for marriage. I do feel you're ready. You're ready for something long term. Capricorn, a lot of you guys are cutting the tie with someone with blonde hair. I'm having a vision of a feminine energy if you're a masculine Capricorn with blonde hair for others. There's someone here, um, you know, it feels as if they have blonde hair. Something about transparency is coming through about this person or truth is coming through with this person. The Four of Cups, and the reason why you're you're cutting ties with this person, Capricorn, is because of infidelity. Some of you guys have had enough. A lot of you guys have an offer here, but you're not seeing it. You're not seeing it, my loves. It's almost like why I don't want to try again. I don't want to keep doing this to myself. Some of you guys most recently went through uh, some hardship with a water sign, and this has been blocking your heart. Leo season is all about healing for you. You guys are, it's like you're really planting these stones to move forward in love. It's like you're creating a path for yourself in love. Really renewing. 
going on in love here. Soulmate. I do see a soulmate for you, Capricorn. There's a Cancer here. This is new energy. Cancer Sun Moon Rising or a Leo. I'm also getting a Libra. Okay. This is going to be a soulmate contract. Someone that you have. It's like their innocence really moves you. You really love their innocence. A lot of you guys have so many choices here. You're like, who do I choose? Listen, this is going to come towards you around the 13th. I love it. It's going to be a tender love. Let's close it out. What's the outcome here? We have Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Please be aware of power struggles with anyone in your love life. I do feel there's a water sign that is incredibly manipulative, okay? So please do not go back to a karmic specifically money is on the line there's too much on the line in terms of your mental health your sanity you are worth more capricorn okay patience is a virtue i love you